You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, January 9th, 2019. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we have been talking about holiness, which should be our number one quest this year and this life, the quest to to get sin out of our lives and to become more like God, who is a God of love, a God of mercy, and a God who is faithful. Yesterday, we talked about how God is in control of our walk towards holiness, because holiness is a gift from God, and one of the key key parts of becoming holy is to stop trying to control everything ourselves and to give control over to God. Today, we are going to examine the wisdom of two amazing saints, St. Therese and St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and important words that they lived by that can truly help us on our own quest for holiness. And those words are these. God does not call us to be successful. He calls us to be faithful. God does not call us to be successful. He calls us to be faithful. Now, in these simple words is a big lesson about holiness. Holiness, becoming more like God, does not guarantee and it does not require that we are successful. So here is what I mean by that. Now, if you really do love God and you are determined to make a difference in this world, maybe you're determined to start something big, you know, like feeding the hungry or starting a Bible study at your school or telling a friend about Jesus. These are all amazing things to do. But let's say that your effort to feed the hungry, well, it it never really pans out. You don't have enough money or organization to make it happen. Or you start your Bible study at your school, but only two people come, and it doesn't really feel like very much of a success. Or let's say you tell your friend about Jesus, but he's just not interested, and he doesn't really do anything with it. All of these things can feel like a failure, and we can think, well, I must just not be very much like God. I just must not be very holy, because if I was holy, these things would have worked. These things would have really gone out and changed the world. But that is not how holiness works. As St. Therese and St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta tell us, To follow God, we do not need to be successful. We need to be faithful. Think about God in the Old Testament. He tried all sorts of things with the Israelite nation. And still, time after time, they went back to worshiping idols. They turned their back on God and they refused to follow him. You could almost say that God's attempt with the Israelite nation failed over and over again. And yet what was God? He was faithful. He refused to abandon them. He refused to give up. So if we are going to be like God, we do not get discouraged by failure. And we know that failure is not what matters to God. What matters to God is to continually try. Now, let's look at these two saints that live by these words, St. Therese and St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. By the world's standards, one was a failure and one was a success, and yet they both live by these words. As you probably know, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who lived in our modern world, she didn't die that long ago, she founded an amazing order that is still active in the world 
that has spread to nearly every country in this world. Thousands of thousands of women have joined her order and are out there serving the poor right now. The Sisters of Charity have made a huge impact on this world. They have comforted people as they died. And Mother Teresa's work was so recognized while she was still alive that she won the Nobel Peace Prize. That's incredible. She was invited to speak at breakfasts where the President of the United States listened to her. This is incredible. She was, although humble and grounded in God primarily, she really was a success. And then let's look at St. Therese of Lisieux. St. Therese of Lisieux was a cloistered nun, which means when she was very young, she entered a convent and she never left the four walls of that convent once she entered. Even the sisters that she lived with there, they didn't really understand her. They thought she was simple and very quiet. She died when she was very young. She writes that she oftentimes would fall asleep during prayer. And yet she wrote an autobiography about the little way to holiness that has transformed for me and many others how we seek holiness. But all of these things happened after her death. For the most part, she looked kind of like a failure. I mean, what did she really do during her life? Not a whole lot. And yet God tells us she is a great saint. She is a doctor of the church because she was faithful. And so today, Sprouts, here is my challenge for you. I want you to really think about this journey toward holiness. It's not about accomplishing things. It's not about, you know, bringing so many souls to God. All those things are wonderful. But it's not like we have to get to heaven with a list of things that we've done to prove that we've earned a right a place in heaven. It's not how it works. God simply asks that we try every day to follow him. Even if the day before was a failure, even if we sinned the day before, that we get up and we try again. And so, Sprouts, here's my challenge for you today. I want you to say this simple prayer. Lord, teach me to be faithful like you. And really embrace this idea that we are not called to be successful. We are called to be faithful. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. One last thing, I'd like to invite all parents and teachers listening to this episode of the Catholic Sprouts to jump on over to YouTube and discover a new channel devoted just to you. Catholic Sprouts for Moms is going to be sharing weekly videos that will hopefully help to inspire you in your own faith journey and become better teachers of the children entrusted to you. That's Catholic Sprouts for Moms, and you can find the direct link in the notes for this episode. <music>